Our farm was started here in 1857 by Swan Swanson, and he came from Norway, and uh, it's passed down uh, to the generations since then. Uh, uh, Swan actually brought the first registered Holsteins in here from Holland in 1885, and most of the animals here are from the original two heifers and bull that he brought way back uh, in the 1800s. We believe we're the only herd left that was there when it originated in 1885, and. And I guess that is an opportunity for us to continue the legacy and, and uh, keep that going as long as we possibly can. It was great raising the family on the farm. You always work together and you always teach them the values of hard work and how that pays off. And it's kind of a relief because first of all, you know the farm will continue. We know we still have people who are concerned about the way the farm's gonna, gonna run. It's been important and it's, a, it's always a proud moment when they want to come back. So I'm the sixth generation along with my husband, David, and we really enjoy being able to work with family. Um, we're really fortunate that three generations of us are able to be um, living and well on the farm. Um, we get to work with our parents on a day-to-day -day basis. So full-time, I'm an embryo transfer veterinarian, and so I'm licensed in Minnesota and Wisconsin, and so I travel between the two states and do um, embryo transfer on farms. Um, I also do uh, IVF work. Basically, the goals with that are to help bring a value-added service to farms and, and customers to help them find another revenue source for their farm, help them propagate their genetics on their own farm, including our own to help make advancements and so the farms can be more profitable, more efficient. So the van is actually a unique setup, so it actually has a mobile lab in it, and that lab meets the guidelines and specifications for biosecurity measurements um, set forth by different export countries. It's used to go on farm so that we can collect those different genetics and get those either crowd preserved or we can transfer them on a farm to further genetic uh, progress on an individual's farm. A lot of the breeders that I work with are registered Holstein breeders because those various genetic markets um, that exist, a lot of them are requiring that those animals have purebred databases behind them to support the progeny that they'll be receiving. And so having registration papers and having that information on the donors and sires helps with that marketability. Registered cattle, for me, it's what I've grown up in known. It's given me the pathways to many friendships, been the gateway for my career um, and our livelihood. And so it seems as though I owe quite a bit to registered Holsteins and the registered cow for basically everything I have and know um, at this point in my life. So I think genomics has affected dairy genetics probably more than anything in history almost. It's taken the bottom end and brought it way up and taken the top end and raised it even higher. It's completely shifted the dairy industry as a whole. When it comes to productivity, they are number one and I don't know that anybody will ever be able to catch us as long as we have the genomic information we have today, we'll continue to make even a better cow than we have now. What keeps me optimistic about the future of the dairy industry is that the people within the dairy industry are still passionate about the dairy industry. I think the main goals are to continue to improve what we're already doing to become more of an elite genetic herd and can improve on what's already been done for the past several generations here. Something I think I'd like consumers to know about dairy farming is how many advancements and, and how much information we use and how many different professionals we use to achieve our day-to-day -day goals. We analyze every little bit of information that we can so that we can take care of our animals to the best of our abilities and so that we can produce a high quality and safe and nutritious product for, for consumers.